Am I the asshole for telling my sister-in-law that no one in our family is named Stephanie? I can't figure out if I did anything wrong, or if so, what? Because I honestly have no idea what's going on. Hopefully someone here can give me a clue. Here's the relevant info as far as I know. My brother and his wife are expecting their first girl after two boys. I love Ricky and Jace, and so does my sister-in-law, but she has always wanted a girl and is very excited to be having one. She also wants to name the girl Chloe as she loves that name. My brother hates the name Chloe and really wants to name their daughter Stephanie. They have been arguing about it for a few weeks since finding out the gender. I got to my parents' house late last night and my sister-in-law was the only person still awake. We talked for a little bit and she asked me the weirdest question. She asked me if I knew any stories about great aunt Stephanie. I was so confused. I literally said, who? Sister-in-law clarified that she was talking about our grandmother's older sister that died when grandma was a little girl. Our grandma had two sisters, but their names were Judy and Lynn. There's no one in our family named Stephanie, as far as I know. I told as much to my sister-in-law. She changed the subject after that, and we soon went to bed. This morning, my brother and his wife were both sulking during breakfast. Even the kids could tell. Ricky kept saying, stop being grumpy on Christmas so it wasn't just my imagination. I got my brother alone and confronted him. He snapped at me for meddling and told me to stay out of his marriage. My brother is pissed at me and my sister-in-law won't even talk to me. I'm afraid to say anything to my parents and drag them into this, especially since I don't know what this is. Either my grandmother had a secret sister that I don't know about, but my brother does for some reason, or my brother lied to his wife to convince her to name their baby Stephanie. Both options seem equally weird to me. Maybe there's a third possibility I'm not seeing. Am I the asshole? If so, please explain to me why. (laughs) I feel like it's clear what's happening here. (laughs) I think that the brother has lied to his wife and created a fake family member because he wants the baby's name to be Stephanie. (laughs) That is just so... That's another level. That's just... Yes. (laughs) It's like, that's a bold thing to lie about when yes. there's things like Ancestry.com and 23andMe right. and everyone knows their entire family mm-hmm. tree. Yeah. And also, if you're going to lie about that, shouldn't you clear it with your family first? Yeah. I mean, yeah. I don't think you should lie at all, <laughs> but if you're going to make up a fake family member, shouldn't you warn your family? Right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just cracking up at the title because, like, out of context, it's so funny. I know. <laughs> am I the asshole? Wait, what was it? It was, am I the asshole for telling my sister-in-law that no one in our family is named Stephanie? <laughs> <laughs> I think, no, so you're funny. not. <laughs> no. Your brother is just dumb. Yes. And it's not your fault. And I think that the sister-in-law is mad at her husband and rightfully so she's allowed Mm -hmm. to be mad that her husband lied to her and that's manifesting as being grumpy the next day which is fine and she is not blaming you she's probably just she probably just doesn't want to talk to anyone Mm -hmm. and that just includes you and they need to work through that together wow just bold of him to assume that like he would get away with that i know and for years too and that it would never come out right like wouldn't you think that like by the time your daughter stephanie can like (laughs) ask questions she might have questions about like her namesake is that what it's called or would she be the namesake i think she would be the namesake the person she's named after would be great aunt stephanie great aunt yeah would she not want to know about great aunt stephanie see pictures like come on (laughs) I wonder if the brother was like, I just have to keep up the lie until after she's born because then it's too late and she won't be able to change the name. This brother is just bold. Yeah. Could you imagine finding out afterwards, though? Oh, I'd be so pissed. You name your daughter Stephanie and then he's like, yeah, like there's no great aunt Stephanie. (laughs) I kind of think this is like crazy person behavior. Yes. Like I would be like, I just lost all the trust I had in you. Crazy or dumb, like one or the other. Yeah. (laughs) Both. Both of them are bad when you have two kids together and you have another one on the way. Yeah. 
<laughs> I feel so bad for her sister-in-law. She really has to deal with this dumbass liar. Yeah. <laughs> It's just crazy. At least she has the sister. So true. At least it came out now. <laughs> yes. And you know that that daughter is going to be named Chloe. Oh, yeah. She <laughs> After be. this one, mm-hmm. the brother is never recovering from no, this. No, no. <laughs> he will never get to name a single thing ever no. again. No. Stephanie will never be his daughter. No. <laughs> there was an update. Update. Most awkward Christmas Eve dinner ever. Gotta keep this short. Everyone now knows what my brother was doing with the kids' names. Except the kids, obviously. They are pissed. Weirdly, my mom is the most pissed. A Christmas truce is in place for the kids, so no fighting on the holiday. However, the baby is definitely going to be named Chloe. My brother (laughs) very quickly backed down when my mom said some few choice words to him. The topic is completely banned for the rest of the festivities, so for now at least, they've tied a bow on the situation go grandma yes thank you i'm glad that the sister-in-law aka the pregnant mother got what she wanted out Mm -hmm. of this because her husband's just a dumbass yeah and he got some sense smacked into him yes by his mom that just goes to show like you're never too old to need some sense smacked into you by your mom (laughs) that is so true a good lesson (laughs) to take away from this so true (laughs) and don't make up fake family (laughs) fake family (laughs) members in order to get your partner to agree to the name that you like (laughs) that's just so funny what if they picked one of those interesting names that's like way more popular now like arrow yeah or like (laughs) luna yeah it's like great aunt luna and it's like nobody's name is luna (laughs) no sorry (laughs) 